Hi everybody, Tammy here and I have a haul share that I would like to uh, share with you today. I bought some of Coco's papers and uh, Coco is Coco Noel on YouTube. I'm sure all of you know who Coco is, but she has started dyeing papers and offering them for sale. And I fell in love with all of her paper packs that she showed. She shows them on YouTube and then you can contact her to order any packs that you're interested in. But let's get right into these. So the first pack that I have here, uh, these were called her saloon papers and look at the gorgeous. I love um, the damask that Coco uses to cut to, you know, the pattern on her papers. And she uses an assortment of different things to color the papers. I can't even begin to, to, to know what she uses, but they're absolutely beautiful. They feel great. So these will be so much fun. Okay. Oh, I tried to take them all out of the plastic so that they wouldn't, the glare wouldn't be terrible on the, but aren't they beautiful? I just love these. That one. So those are her saloon papers. And then this next pack was called the Not So Purple Pack. And I love her name. She gives her papers. These are beautiful. This is like a real pretty lavender. So there's that one. And then she just has the colors that she gets and the effects are so unique. This feels really good. Now I think she may have used Magicals on here. Coco, if you're watching this, um, it looks like maybe Magicals are definitely, um, boy, it looks like Magicals to me with when you get that effect, but I could be wrong. Coco is our expert paper dyer now with all of the different elements that she uses. This is pretty. This is kind of like a light pinkish lavender color. The designs are just beautiful. Oh, this is real pastel. And this is one that looks like she put a doily in the center here. Very pretty. That light, lavendery, pastel pinkish. This is cool. You know, and I'm not sure if, I think the camera's picking up the iridescence of the papers. I love, it looks like it's just washed with a beautiful iridescent, um, bluish purple mix of colors. There are so many different projects that I'll be able to use these in. Oh, good. I got a few of these. I love them. They almost look marbled. Oh, here's another fun one. Oh, here's some. This is like a real blush color pink. Very pretty. Oh, look at this. Ooh, Coco. I love this. Wow. Yeah. This is a different kind of paper, too. Not sure what that, what kind of paper that is. Okay, here we go with some more of the damask. Okay. And then some more of the, see, no, no uh, two papers are alike which, you know, when you buy a pack, that's nice to get the variety. These are so pretty. Yeah, so the, oh, I see copper. There's some copper shimmer on here. Some beautiful light blue shimmer. Boy, these, you know, this one would have been I, I can still incorporate it into um, my lake journal that I keep where we go up north. I might have to do another signature and use some of Coco's papers for sure. It's beautiful. Oh, and here's that real light blushy pink color. Oh, here's another one of those. This paper is neat. Boy, that's so pretty. Oh, look at here. Oh boy. We've got music paper. Wow. So 
cool. Look at that. So she must have used a stencil. Neat. Okay. So now this is the Damask Paper Pack 2. So I think the, um, how she has these labeled uh, in the little bags are how her videos may appear if you look at her videos. Oh, this is pretty. Very pretty. And this is the, um, oh, it's like a bronzy gold um, shimmery color. I don't know if you can see the shimmer. But this, her patterns, whatever she's using, I'm not sure if it's a stencil or whatever, maybe it is. Um, I love, Coco, I love your, your stencils or if you're using, um, you know, sometimes I notice people use like the plastic tablecloths to get that effect. I think you're probably using a stencil for this. Um, I love that stencil. The images are, that it creates are so pretty. Oh, look at this one. This is like, a, oh my gosh, a beautiful green color coming through. Yeah. Oh, and here's a blue. Very pretty shimmery blue. And a pink. Oh. Wow. Very pretty. Oh, and this has like a white, a white frosty shimmer coming through on it. Oh my gosh. And I don't, oh, I think you can probably see the pattern, the damask pattern on this creamy, creamy paper. It's kind of like a, a, a manila colored paper with that white shimmer. That is so pretty. These are elegant papers. Very pretty. And then it's fun to watch Coco's videos because you can tell how passionate she is about experimenting and how excited she is to see what what happens when she mixes, you know, which mediums with which. And okay, so that was the Damask Paper Pack 2. And I loved those so much when I watched her video that I got two. And these are, yeah, these are all very similar. So I got two of those beautiful packs. And then here we go. This is the first one I saw her show. And this is her paper pack one. And this has a lot of variety. This, whatever this paper is, Coco, I love it. Look at that. That's definitely a stencil. And then you can see the different variations that she gets. Wow, so pretty. Love them. I love buying papers from all of our crafty friends, specialty papers that they create. Because you know, this, this is a lot of work. This takes a lot of time and preparation and cleanup. And I would much rather buy a nice assortment from my crafty friends. Oh, look at that. Than try to sit and do this <laughs> myself. It's nice to get an envelope in the mail with, you know, papers ready for you to create whatever, whatever you want to use them for. These will all be used in special journals for family members that I'll be working on over the next couple of months. I'm excited to use them. Oh, so pretty. And then here I bought two of those. That This is the paper pack one. And I'm sure it's probably, let's see, yeah, similar. Similar but different because, you know, her coloring. Oh, wow, look at, I don't know if you can see the, it's almost like a reddish copper that's showing through in spots. So pretty. Show the back. Yep. So, yeah, the shimmer just makes makes the designs and the different elements on these papers pop. 
and I hope the camera's picking up because I, every single paper that I'm showing you has shimmer, shimmer and shine. If you tilt them a certain way, you can definitely see it. In person, you can not miss it, but I'm not sure if it's coming across on the camera as cool as they are in real life. Oh, this is another one of the white shimmer. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Okay, oh, this has a hint of like a turquoise -y blue. Oh, this one needs to go in my lake journal. Yeah. Definitely. It looks like sand with water. I mean, when you look at them, you just see a bunch of different, different variations. Coco, I can't wait to see what your next creations are. These are all so beautiful. So I hope you enjoyed watching this. And if you want some of Coco's papers, um, I'll try to link her channel. I don't know if it'll work, but I'll try to do that in my description box. And I'm sure she will hook you up with some beautiful papers just like these. Oh, you know what? I have more. I have more I forgot to show you. So in addition to the papers, um, Coco has really cool fibers that she offers. And so well, this is neat. This is a really, I wonder what this would feel like. She described it as a, a felt fiber. And, oh, it's very soft. Oh, this will be fun to work with. And look, at it's in the red, white, and blue colors. So this, she had a special. I think it was three yards for a dollar. And, oh, these are so pretty. There's a yellow and a pink. Beautiful. A beautiful color blue. Oh my gosh, there's a creamy white. I have never seen this before. Oh, look at this pretty green. These will be fun to use. Oh, this pink. Oh my gosh. Like a blush pink. These are so cool. And then look at the purple. Very pretty. So there's that. And then here's a little thank you. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, look how cute. Little, oh, I'm not in frame. Little embellishments. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at this. Coco, thank you so much. Oh, these are beautiful stamped images with mm, that purple ink. I recognize these stamps too. I think these are from Stamperia. You probably got those from Maddie and Madison, didn't you? Oh, look how beautiful that is. Oh my gosh. And then she also included a little pack, a little special pack because I was working on a folio album for my little great niece. And Coco, you are so sweet. She sent, oh my gosh, that's so pretty, the roses, but I'm going to be working on journals, so I told Coco, I, I gave my niece the folio album yesterday at a birthday party for my little great niece, um, but I will be working on a journal as well for my niece, so she, some of these papers will go in there, and Coco, these are the perfect size paper for the folio album that I was doing. So I'm going to use the same, it's the Eileen Hull um, folio scoreboard die, and I'm going to use it to create like a little traveler's notebook journal. So Coco, these papers are perfect, perfect size. Oh my gosh, look how pretty these are. Again, they're shimmer and shine. Pretty, pretty pink colors because she knows I was using the little girl um, Stamperia paper collection. Coco, thank you so much if you watch this. And uh, like I said, everybody, get on over to Coco's channel and check out her three items. Am I not in frame? Oh, dear. I'll have to watch this video and make sure that I was in frame the whole time. But anyways, 
Um, my next haul, I think I'm going to share my Spectrum Art Creations haul because I haven't done that in a while. And I finally have a big box because I was able to attend two of her sales recently um, and get some goodies. So until next time, I hope you find time today to create something that makes you happy. Um, but I will talk to you later. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.